Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Gaming Night. I'm um, just going to be going over some of my birthday gifts that I got. I didn't exactly have them all yet. Some of them, they're going to be a little late. So they'll be for another video. First off, I want to disclaim that um, I did get um, some other stuff that I can't show because they're digital. Hold on a second. So yeah, I got a $20 eShop card for my friend Courtney and then I, I showed my gift from my dad um, that he got me early because I was in a hospital and I got to play it finally and I really like it so that's Thunder Road um, so you guys have probably seen me unbox this but I'm gonna do kind of another unboxing sort of just because I do need uh, just because I get some stuff different some stuff to this so obviously the boards and stuff here aren't, you know, they're really nice, uh, double-sided. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba 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 and all that stuff. You know, really nice boards. Um, yeah, I want to get the expansions for us, but I missed it. I didn't get the Kickstarter at the time. So, uh, he just got me the retail version, which this is awesome. Just eventually want to get the expansions for it, and I don't know how to get a hold of those right now. So, um, in order I had one to buy them. So then you got the dice, of course, and got the different types of damage you can get to your vehicle. With the, and then you have the hazard ones, which is a wreck. And went, so it's like so and then I the reason I'm like I said these I ended up just doing some coloring to them I just wanted to have them have like um be painted you know just to kind of stand out a little bit more it's all look different um you know, the paint and all that and then of course you got your individual colors for your cars and different the large and all that so you can keep track of the um, that and then you know they're all you have three of each vehicle and then each of you guys have your little command center there's four of those as well so, but the difference is I painted my vehicles obviously so there's that one so they all have, there's three of every vehicle, so there's chickens, so you can He's like, I'm not standing in there. I'm out of here. Blues. The other blues. These are the darker greens. So yeah, we've got um, that. And then we got the little... Um, So I'll bring them up to the camera a little closer here. Um, one second, once I get them all organized. Okay. So, let's see. Okay. Um. So. 
I'm gonna try to bring these up as close as I can here. So there's that one. Yeah, we got a thunderstorm rolling in right now. I'll show you the wrecks up close. I'm a lefty, but my camera's on my left. So I gotta use my right hand to show. Those are the wrecks. Another one of the vehicles. <laughs> And I painted these off camera, so. Um, so yeah, they all have a look to them. Da -da -da. We got the other helicopter. And we got these guys. Get those. And then you got the like the So yeah, I just kinda wanted to give it my own touch to everything. Um I still might have to give them one more coat of spray, I think, but to make sure that the, the paint stays on but yeah, it took a lot of um i did a couple of coats of washing um give them a wash um then i have some paints that are um i can't think of what it's called something dork i think it's called dork or called dork brand i think it's called paint and then I have um some villagios I used it's not off the top of my head which exactly and I blended it like I said I had to do a lot of like uh, blending and everything so that takes of course time <clears throat> now the other one I was trying to film my box and put my phone um battery was um apparently lower than i thought it was and it just, um didn't record so you're going to be seeing the um kind of like an unboxing but everything has been on box for the most part and sorted but i at least get to show you guys the stuff about so and <coughs> and away we go this is massive, so bear with me. So this is from my fiance. We went to, um, <coughs> she took me to, um, as a birthday surprise, took me to our house games while she was at work. Gave me a spending limit. I ended up having, uh, they have this thing where you, so many purchases of ten dollars will get you so many um stamps and then once you get a card filled up you get 25 percent off of your um thing and then all that stuff so and then with so this i had a 50 dollar budget and i was able to get this verse is the just the main game for 50 because this was a little bit more but with the uh with 25 percent off and then just end up paying maybe five or about ten dollars for the tax on it but considering it you know like ten dollars more for um all these expansions that it comes with it was worth it because um i played this game um uh one of the hobby shops uh um the the base one at the hobby shop uh name of it uh R.I. is it R.I.W. one of them or not R.I.W. sorry 
scratch that, reverse it. Um, I played with a friend of mine and I had it. So he, um, so yeah, we played it. I played it uh, at the hobby shop. Um, at, I don't know which one it was called. It was one of those hobby shops I went to with them. It might have been even our house games because that's the only, the only game shop I recently remember going to. It just been it's been a blur, but yeah, I played this one with the main. This is the main game, so yeah, I know I'm just um, my brain's not cognitively recalling, um, but I know I played the base game. So, anyways, it's a pusher luck game, and yeah, as you can see, um, it came with a lot of with some baggies to sort stuff out, and. That's what I thought I was, like I said, this is, so I kept all this stuff. So I'm going to probably use this for other things for my crafts and stuff, so the scraps and stuff. So it had a lot of stuff to punch out. A heck of a lot, actually. Okay, we're going to reshoot battery, kind of. <laughs> sort of, or, sorry, ran out of space, I guess. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> it's a five-player game, so there's five of these, one, two, three, four, um, there's four, I know there's four here, four, five, and then we have the player boards, there's five of these, yeah, there's the other one, so they got like, and these are the main uh, boards here. So um, then these are the other variants. So as I was saying, you're going to have your own board, and then this is a scoreboard. And it's you, you know, it's going through these rounds. And each at the end of each round, you'll score based on. Uh, tracks and um I would say some of these will be skipped. Uh, <clears throat> and the second and then the second one you'll add the yellow and it's just as you're going through you start adding new stuff to it. But you start off with the basic stuff and then you add um so you got that. Um then you got the rule book. pretty well um, illustrated everything is very easy to understand uh, it's a push your luck type game so, these are the pumpkin so you got pumpkin you got two of those to choose from crow skulls you got a few of them And then you got the toadstool set one, set two, set three. Uh, so you have like all these different um, variety of ones you can include. And I believe, just to, to verify, Black Book for two players. So, so, yeah, they have like a setup. So it's like there's different setups and stuff. So, anyways, yeah. And there's that. And these, I punched them all out. That's uh, <clears throat> we saw the little thing. So yeah, I didn't organize them in the color yet. And we have thunderstorms on us. So if you hear any rumbling, it's still going on. Um, so yeah, they're not sorted yet. So I'll be sorting them eventually. And then I want to get those, uh, things on Etsy, the, the plastic, um, things that go, that clip onto these to kind of keep them from wearing these out. It's like, uh, I believe it's like a, like a, a plastic 
shell that goes around and I think it might have like a laminated something over top of on one of it like so that when it's in it doesn't um you don't ruin the uh the design on here because obviously these are going to get they get handled quite a bit um and you got the cards here i these are probably i believe for the witch's expansion because this one has was um special cards and then it looks like you got different victory condition cards as well to go along with stuff yeah yeah so that's um that's a guess i mean i'm not gonna 100% say for sure and then you got the special player characters so um you got the carrot nose nervousness Vamp, purism, um, chicken foot eyes, pretty much the whole body is cheese, it looks like a chicken all the way around, or that guy, the Mr. Moon um, from McDonald's almost, the <laughs> um, you got the forgetfulness one, um, then you got the wing ears, which is Dumbo almost. And then you got the, um, witch's hump. So, so yeah, it's kind of a little bit of humor there, obviously. Um, and of course these are other add-ons that change the game a little bit. So, each player gets one of these. So, for ex um, and then we have these really nice um, bags here. Um, I think it's either silk or it's satin or it's definitely like really good material. It's soft and big enough for my hand, so that's good. Because sometimes they give you bags that are just they don't fit can't get your hand in it comfortably uh these are the gems these are used to um flip this back over because this lets you put one of the white ones back in your bag because obviously this is a pressure luck game you don't want to bust and it's also used for other things as well uh then we go to some of the books here um these are some more victory point stuff that we can add so I, I mean there's tons of variety then there's these here so they're saying the black borders are for like the two player ones so so I, I got myself a little bit all over mixed in but so it says how many players I believe that's what that is for maybe so yeah there's all kinds of stuff it was saying the black bordered one so so until I find a black border one You know, you have two sides to each one, too. So. So, there's it. Said black bordered ones. So I think if I'm, if I'm overlooking something. Or I'm, do, 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 do. Let me check something. I know I don't want to.
but apparently, yeah, so, yeah, the pots, yeah, so two, So there's only a few of them uh, to have that. So so yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much. So I'm guessing some of them are like for that. So Yeah, so the red encircled ingredient books will be used for the first game. So that tells you which ones you'll be using for the first game. You're gonna have like one of each color. <laughs> so yeah, they got a lot of variety. So, anyways, yeah, um, I really like the box art too. Inserts. So, um, so yeah, a lot of content is in the box, and it's got plenty of room for, um more stuff of them obviously i'm pretty sure they're going to be coming out with more expansions if they haven't already even um so yeah it's um gotta put those in the right spots eventually um but yeah I, well i might bring this down with my friend steve if he's in if he's interested in playing this so i know he you know was one he liked too but like i said it's just it's a push your luck game so you can um you make your own luck and if you you know you gotta know when to stop you know but, you know it's, that's the fun of it you know so it's the front of the box obviously box part or was it was it me so yeah this is of course, I got to go down. And that's the back of the box. So, yeah. Um, so, it's called, yeah. Base game with two expansions, and I don't know if there's any more. That I know. Of. But, yeah, this is definitely one game that's going to be fun playing with a group of people. And it goes up to five, so that's a good thing. So, anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, part two will be up when I get my other stuff and then any, when I, whatever I buy with a Nintendo Switch eShop cards and stuff, I'll, you know, put them in the description. This is what I got with, uh, blah, blah, blah and all that stuff. So, cause I'm not buying them everything all at once. So there's some stuff I got that's pre-ordered that I'm waiting for it to drop. So you won't be seeing those until they drop. So anyways, thanks for watching. I will be doing some um, solo board gaming. I got the stuff all set, ready to go. Um, just going to be very tedious for editing. So the video won't be up right away. But I'll get it up as soon as I can get done editing it. So I'm on the second phase of shooting right now of it. <clears throat> so, because it's one of those I got to do uh, different setups on on it depending on the game on the on the game it's hard to explain without ruining it for you guys so it's gonna have different camera angles so to speak and it should be fun so see that plan to see that video in the, maybe in the next couple of days no later than uh friday friday would be the latest it would come out so so I already got it planned out. I just got to edit it. Cause it's not a short video. So, um, so anyways, um, 
Also, I already have a second board game planned on doing um, playing solo. But it's going to be up to you which one you guys want me to do. So, um, I'll give you guys an option here. <clears throat> I can do, I can play this, Tabletop Golf, Mars Opens, I can do the Captain is Dead, Dangerous Planet, or, is it even over here? Because it's a mutant game. Alright, anyways. <laughs> I set it down. Because it's bulky. And then of course, lastly, I'm broken. So. So which one of those three would you like to see after I get done with the video I've planned. So, expect the video by Friday the latest. Um, I'm going to try to get it up within the next couple of days. Editing is going to be a pain in the butt. So, once again, thanks for watching. I know I ramble on. I'm sorry. I'll see you guys soon with some videos. And, of course, some Nintendo Switch games too as well. Thanks for watching.